In this video, I want to talk about one particular type of dynamic model, which is known as a partial adjustment model. So the idea with a partial adjustment model is that there is some sort of equilibrium value of a variable y, which I'm going to call y star. And y star is determined by, let's say, some other variable xt, plus a range of other factors which I'm containing in the error term here. So you can think about yt star as perhaps representing the long run growth rate of the economy or the UK's economy, for example. So the idea with a partial adjustment model is that the value of y, which we actually observe, differs from its true or equilibrium value rather due to some sort of inertia. So the idea is that the change in y is given by some parameter theta, which I'm going to explain in a minute, times the difference between the true equilibrium value of y and what it was in the last period. So the idea here is that we assume that theta is itself greater than zero, and we assume that theta is less than one. So let me explain what both of those two assumptions mean. Essentially, if yt star, in other words, the equilibrium value of y is above what it was in the last period, then because theta is positive, the idea is that the economy then takes a step in that direction because this difference here inside the parenthesis will be positive. But because it's less than one, the idea is that there isn't a full adjustment to the equilibrium value of y. So it only goes part of the way. Perhaps theta is equal to 0.5, in which case the long run growth rate only steps half of the way towards the equilibrium growth rate. So what sort of things might be causing this partial adjustment? Well, this inertia, as I'm going to call it here, could be caused by a whole range of factors one of them could be some sort of habit formation, so where individuals become particularly um, addicted to a particular type of behaviour, for example. Uh, another reason might be there might be some cost of adjustment. So it is there is some sort of cost which is outside of this model, which means it is costly to move towards the equilibrium value. But in principle, this inertia can model a whole range of situations outside of these two particular examples I've given here. OK, so how do we go about estimating a partial adjustment model if we think that it, it is the case that our particular process might be having this sort of mechanism? Well, the way in which we go about doing this is to replace our equilibrium value of y by what is given uh, above here. So alpha plus beta xt plus et. If we do that, we get that yt, well, I'm going to leave out the minus yt minus 1 for now, is equal to theta times yt star. Well, theta times yt star is just theta times this whole thing up here. So I'm going to get theta alpha plus theta beta times xt plus theta times et. And I'm also, in this step, going to take over to the other side this yt minus 1. So I'm not just going to have a minus theta times yt minus 1. I'm going to have a plus 1 minus theta times yt minus 1. OK, so how do you actually go about estimating this? Well, the idea is that what you would do is you would run a regression, which is yt is equal to delta naught plus delta 1 times xt plus delta 2 times yt minus 1 plus vt. And note that here, in order to get an estimate of the parameter theta, then all we need to do is, if we compare this delta 2 here with this 1 minus theta, it becomes apparent that perhaps a good estimator would be to say, well, our estimator for theta, the rate of adjustment, is equal to 1 minus our OLS estimate of delta 2. OK, and how do we get the structural parameter beta? Well, that's easy. If we've already calculated our estimate of theta, theta hat, then our estimate of beta is just equal to, or to write beta hat, is equal to delta 1 hat divided by theta hat. And that's easy to see if you just compare the coefficients on the xt. 
Okay, so that's the partial adjustment model. And you can see here that it has actually provided some rationale for including a length dependent variable. So a partial adjustment model is one of those circumstances whereby it is sort of rational to include a lag of the dependent variable because it is suggested by theory.